Good day everyone, this is Tim and this is a beautiful day in San Diego and right in front of us is a spaghetti of highways and over there is the 100S Seafood and Grill and being in San Diego they have a lot of seafood and I got a chance to visit with some friends and the little ones oh and the sun is uh, uh, shining bright but uh, really nice to get to eat with the friends and the little ones and today I get to explore uh, myself and really glad that you can join and being in San Diego and in the West Coast they are known for the seafood and uh, what better way to try the West Coast seafood than here at the buffet and uh, it gets better because uh, 100S seafood I know this is a Thursday and on Thursdays they have a special seafood buffet they always have crab and scallops and all that good stuff with a lot of roasts and lots of desserts so I can't wait to give it a try I hope you're hungry uh, come on uh, let's go in. It's right now about 3, 4 o'clock, uh, right when the buffet starts. But I hear it gets busy, especially on lobster night. Uh, come on, let's give it a try. And immediately it feels a lot better to be out of the sun. And uh, let's see. Hey, Remus. Hey, how are you doing? Not too bad. And I see this uh, right before us is the uh, lobster buffet. That's correct. Oh. It is Thursday night. So lobster night. Perfect timing and I'm getting a little hungry. Uh, is it okay? Can I get a table? Absolutely. Follow me this way. All right, thank you. Welcome. So when I was here like two minutes ago, there was nobody here. No, no. it's all <laughs> Nice to get a seat here and a beautiful booth. And right in front of us, that will be for the shells. And I know it's going to get messy, so they make sure you are well prepared. And uh, again, this is right at four o'clock, right when it opens and already we see a few tables filling up and it's already getting pretty busy so i can't imagine what happens when five o'clock or six o'clock hits uh, i ordered a drink but i'm not gonna wait for that i think we better hit the buffet before it gets too busy come on let's go all right so this is absolutely gorgeous this is probably the nicest looking salad station i've ever seen and that's just station one because inside all the way over there there is the hot food with the sushi and the roasts and the grill and uh, i think they bring out the lobsters fresh uh, once they are uh, grilled and roasted or baked but uh, i'm not sure which but we'll figure it out and behind me where we were is another dining room with the dessert and let's get started let's grab a plate all right let's take a look here starting off We've got a little bit of crab salad and uh, let's see some greens and I'm just looking for the potato salad but that's okay. I think we will go for a little bit of parsley. Oh, I think this is kale right here and this is the veggie quota. And moving on, oh, I did some reconnaissance earlier. And this is the crab that is remaining. But early on, it was piled high, but uh, they replenished this quickly. We'll go for a little bit of the chilled seafood. Oop, with a clam and a few shrimps. Oh, and what the heck, we'll go for some crab. All right, so I guess we'll go for one as a divider but that's good not to get too much because there's more to come and let's see some mussels ginormous shrimp and since i already have some i'm gonna skip but let us go for a lobster claw right here and uh, i think we're looking at the hardest working lady at the buffet hi melidia hi wow this looks great um can i get one yeah oh Oh, it's heavy. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, so I haven't uh, oh. even gone through the uh, appy station or the salad station, and there's already a long line. We need to continue on with the appies, and nice to see everything being restocked. And we only made it through halfway of the salad station, and let's go for the other half. Okay, so this is fantastic. Who would imagine lobster as a salad? But moving on, let's see. We've got some fresh fruits and a lot of dressing and sides for the leafy greens up ahead. 
and within a couple of minutes it looks like all the lobster are gone but that's okay they are quick and it gives us the opportunity to see what's behind so this looks pretty amazing almost as good as the lobster in front there is a lobster bisque this is i think a mixed seafood soup hot and sour soup and the clam chowder or oh, and maybe a lobster bisque there we go and i have been told the sushi here is fantastic and let's give it a try but we'll need to enter the third area of the buffet where we can see the hard-working folks here drilling up a storm and i believe this is the hot food section more seafood and we'll definitely come back for that in a little bit Ooh, scallops all right so keeping a mental note and oh let's see before we hit the sushi station we are detoured by some dim sum and that's a nice detour and we can come back but we can go for the sushi first a little bit of nigiri right here and another one next to it and i'm trying not to uh, fill up on the rice so we'll just go for one of the squid right side up with the shrimp there we go oh and my favorite the ikra right here and we have the sushi deconstructed some crab some spicy crab i hope that's not bananas but uh some seaweed and octopus and i can see right over there we have the sashimi let's go for a little bit of hamachi number two and then some salmon there we go and some seared tuna uh, just like uh, dealing a hand of poker and moving on to the rolls and i definitely have to be mindful of all the rice in the rolls hey sebastian wow, wow that looks amazing is it uh, rainbow roll yeah. oh beautiful thanks sebastian thanks sarah You're welcome. oh looks looks great Thank you. so let's see oh as nice as these rolls look we can go for the combination rolls where there's a, a filling and a topping right over here i think this is interesting this is a crawfish roll and i'm definitely going to get this because you get the best of both worlds the sushi and the crawfish without the work of the shelling right here and another one the spicy girl roll with the jalapeno and the philly and this is interesting. This is, I guess, their signature roll, the 100S roll. And we'll go for one. The plate is filling up fast. We have two spots remaining, so uh, we'll make careful choices. And I have to go for that one from Sebastian, which is actually here. Okay, one more. Sushi Tetra style. All right, and something called a sea breeze to top it off. And it's always nice to go for the end cut. One last spot, and we're just uh, pushing the limits here. And for the first round, not bad. And we'll need to get back and, oh, thank you, Sarah. You're welcome, enjoy. Oh, so really kind of her, and we definitely need to get back. So within a few minutes, it is really busy in here with the tables filling up. And it is nice to come back to the table to find something new. This is a uh, diet Pepsi and much needed because it is warm outside and it was a lot of work at the buffet. Cheers. Mm. Very nice. So quite a spread here. And uh, this is my poor attempt at a salad plate that and it turned out to be a lobster and crab plate which uh, just kind of overran by seafood really kind of sarah for that uni and it does get pretty busy at the sushi area and it's kind of hilarious because right around the uh, area where sebastian and uh, sarah was there was this fellow 
who did a Homer Simpson. Instead of a plate, he took a platter full of sashimi and sushi, and that's going to be his main plate. And uh, very smart, saves a lot of walking around. And without waiting too long, I will definitely go for the uni. Again, very kind of Sarah. Mm. Uni isn't for everyone, but if you love it, <coughs> this is the one for you. It's got a deep, pungent seafood flavor, sweetness, and the intensity and mm, a bit of bitterness of the sea. Very nice. And I definitely want to try the crawfish roll because uh, best two things in one, a sushi roll and a crawfish all the shell. Little dip. Mm. Make sure when you're here, go for the crawfish roll. I think it's a California roll underneath and chunks and lumps of crawfish in a savory sauce. Mm. Very good. And because the sushi is cold, they can wait. But what cannot wait is the lobster. Still nice and warm, but we shouldn't wait too long. Just gonna dig in with a knife and fork. Oh, and nice and buttery. Oh, and it just pulls apart beautifully. Just gonna cut it up a little bit. Oh, there we go. In a little butter or a lot. Nice and buttery. And one of the reasons I got the lobster bisque is because it does make a nice dipping sauce for the lobster. And I think I'm gonna give this a try first on its own. That is nice and rich and has beautiful lobster flavor, sweetness of the sea. That would make a fine sauce. So let's put it to use. So more lobster here. Just breaks off, dunk it in. That is very nice. So. I'm going to continue finishing off the lobster, but I do need to try their 100S signature sushi roll. And we will dip this in a little bit of the ikra for a little bit texture and a bit of crunch. And some soy. Mm. Mm. Messy and good. A little spicy. I'm not sure what's inside, but definitely worth a try. So. A lot of work here with a salad plate and a sushi plate. And I'll finish this quickly and take it back for the hot food and the steaks and the grill. This is a fantastic buffet. Very nice. Mm. That marks the end of round one and it was a fantastic way to start the buffet. I know with the lobster you really don't need the crab but the crab is delicious though it is a bit of work. Cracking the shell, accessing the white meat like a paintbrush and we will dip it in some butter as a primer and then the lobster bisque on top. Very tasty and they cook the crab really well and you can tell because when you crack the legs and carefully remove the shell it comes out as a whole piece. Loop the ends together, some more lobster bisque, and that is a seafood delight. Seared tuna, nice and fresh, beautiful textures, and that white fish, very delicious, silky and buttery and light, but you can only have a few, otherwise uh, you're gonna have some problems. And finally, the nigiri, the sweet shrimp, a little bit of ikra to gild the lily, very tasty, a wonderful combination. And with that, uh, it is time for round two, some hot food. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> the buffet is officially in full swing. 
with even some people finishing up and going for dessert. But uh, we're pretty far away from that now. And uh, we'll just head up to the hot food area. And I'm not sure if you can see behind me are the people waiting for the lobsters. And uh, they are busy. So let's grab a plate and we'll start from the end. Okay, and this is interesting. Wherever you go, you can see the lobster trays coming, so you don't really have to wait long. And kind of interesting because there is another dining room hidden at the other end of the buffet, and let's see. So we need to be very judicious here. Some shrimp and green beans, and maybe just some clams. And sorry, Jade, these are not in black bean sauce, but they will do. And moving on, as good as the noodles is, we will skip. And it's kind of silly to say one thing and do the other, but I noticed they have the shrimp and scallops. And uh, let's try the rice. And I know this is kind of a rookie mistake with all the carbs, but it does taste good. Time to get serious now, and I think we need to because the buffet just goes on and on and on. And without a bit of discipline, it's hard to uh, optimize the buffet. But uh, any which way, you're still going to enjoy because we have some roasted duck and we will go for one here. I do like the thigh right on top of the rice. Some beautiful crawfish there, but we had that with the sushi, some beef steak and orange chicken and ode to Panda Express right here. It is getting full. Oh my goodness, scallops. We will go for one here. And as good as a scallop is, it's the noodles that soak up the sauce. A few dishes in and our plate's already full. What, what's your favorite here? Of course, the... Uh... The lobster. Excellent. So really great folks here. And uh, if you don't like the cold crab, they have the spicy fried crab. Bananas again. I don't know why they always have fried bananas at an Asian buffet. As good as a spring roll looks. These are veggies, so we'll skip uh, and we'll skip the grease balls or the sesame balls. But we will go for the crispy shrimp. And these are wrapped in a wonderful rice paper, nice and crunchy. And we'll add another one. This is quite concerning because we haven't made it through halfway of the buffet line yet. But we'll continue strong with the fried chicken. And believe it or not, this is a chicken wing. This is the size of a regular chicken thigh or a chicken leg. So we'll just go for one. Some chicken nuggets and fries for the kitties. And coconut shrimp for, I guess, the kitties and the adults. More fried shrimp and more seafood to come. Whoa, look at these. Little shells of crab that are stuffed. Some beautifully baked mussels and some beautifully baked prawns as well. And it's a prawn masquerading as a butterfly. Carefully scoop it up. Right here. A wiggle. And normally I skip the salmon, but that is looking rather tender. So maybe just a little bit some potatoes and zucchini. And finally, the essential item at a Chinese buffet, the seafood pasta Alfredo. Just a little bit. And right in front of me is a luscious looking prime rib. But I'm gonna save that for next round because I don't want this to get cold. Round two is more of an Asian style feast. And it's nice to come back to the table and find something new. A nice glass of wine. And I figure it's appropriate with the uh, lobster and all the seafood. Oh, very nice. A nice fruity white wine. Very nice. And I just couldn't resist. I took a look in the uh, soup pot for the clam chowder and it was loaded with seafood with a bit of Tabasco and a bit of lobster. You just kind of make it your own. And it is a little bit hard to choose on which one to try first, but let's give the clam chowder or lobster clam chowder a try. A bit of Tabasco mixed in. Mm -hmm. 
That is a fine clam chowder. In fact, probably one of the best clam chowders I've had, including the ones in Seattle. Lots of clam, really nice creamy flavor, so well balanced. This is a very good clam chowder. Mm. I can't wait to try my other favorite seafood. And it's a toss up between the shrimp and the scallop. I think the scallop wins. A little bit of noodles. A little bit of scallop. Mm. That is very nice. Mm. Maybe a bit off with the ratios, a bit too much noodles, but I can see why because it soaks up all the wonderful goodness of the scallop. Mm. And the nice thing is you can take a break from the seafood because they've got Peking duck, but I just took the duck. They've got the uh, wrappers there or the buns, but uh, I would love the meat and the skin and it might get a bit messy. So uh, there are bones, so it's a good two-handed operation. And I took the dark meat, the thigh, because it is a little bit more juicy, very tender, and very well done. Since we've got our hands dirty, we'll go for the crispy shrimp. Already feel how crisp it is. Nice meaty shrimp. And this is a very thin rice paper roll. Very delicate, very intricate. To make it better, the clam chowder. Very good. And now that we have the fried shrimp, we will go for the baked shrimp. We may need utensils for this. A whisker, we'll move that out of the way. And even though they butterfly this for you, it still is a bit of work. Carefully deshelling it. There we go. As much as I love the fried shrimp, the baked shrimp is probably the better of the two. Cooked wonderfully, nice and delicate and sweet, and a nice cheesy mayonnaise sauce. Mm. I'm kind of curious to try the stuffed crab. Break this apart. Mm. The stuffed crab looks really nice, but uh, I think it's just a stuffing inside with breadcrumbs and uh, fish and other seafood. So not bad, but definitely a filler. So, I'm going to finish all this up and uh, watch how much carbs I eat because we still have the steaks and more seafood and I'll take you back. Here's to more and more rounds. Round two is catching up and the carbs certainly uh, did me in a little bit. The Shanghainese noodles with the shrimp and the scallops, very delicious but very filling. And I do have to say that the spicy chicken wing is one of the best I've had. Crispy on the outside and so tender and juicy on the inside. But it is a large, rather large chicken wing. So it will fill you up. And taking a break from the chicken wing, the fried shrimp, coconut shrimp, just as filling, so be forewarned. But to finish it off, the tender salmon and the rice makes a perfect combination. So with that, let's go visit the carvery with the prime rib and all that wonderful grill and meats and uh, maybe a lobster or two. Come on, let's go. The buffet is definitely in full swing and the lineup is uh, certainly getting long. But, uh, oh, look at this. People don't need to wait too much as it comes out pretty quickly. But I think we will go for some of the meats first. 
but on second thought, we might need to time this a little bit better because getting a uh, getting the prime rib and then getting a lobster, I don't want one to go cold. Prime rib's always there. Lobster, you'll have to wait for. Let's go for the lobster first. And to the back of the line. Maybe we don't need to wait after all. Oh, hi, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, okay. so that was super quick. Um, yeah, no waiting, you just have to walk around in a circle. So with the lobster in place, we'll go for the prime rib. Hey Ruben, how are you? Not too bad. Oh, that looks so good. Can I, um, can I just get one fatty cut there? This one? Yeah. Thank you so much. A little bit of jus. And a bit of horseradish. And since this is steak and lobster, we'll go for a bit of potatoes. Oh, nice and roasted. And a zucchini. And that will do it for the surf and turf. Okay, so round three and I am starting to get full. Uh, I think the Asian round with all the rice and the noodles did me in. But having a little bit of prime rib and lobster is not a bad way to enjoy round three. And I better have this while it is nice and warm. A little bit of horseradish. Mm. Very good, nice and tender. And generally with the buffet, the prime rib, you wait for it. It doesn't wait for you because you do need to catch the, uh, the roast when it is nice and perfect. This is looking very succulent. Mm. Very nice. And because later on I saw another cut of prime rib, not as tender. So you do have to time it correctly. And since I have the knife and fork, a little bit of the zucchini with too much of the horseradish. Too much horseradish. And with the wine, a little bit of seafood in the form of more lobster. And again, the lobster, nice buttery garlic sauce with a bit of parsley, uh, perfectly cooked, comes right out. And having done this before, the clam chowder and lobster, even better. That is very nice. And to make the perfect bite, a little bit of fat and a little bit of the meat with a potato and just a tad a touch of lobster mm. very good and luckily while this plate looks big it's actually relatively small because it's mostly shell so not too much trouble to finish here and you can go back for more lobsters and more and hopefully even though it looked like a long line you just walk right through it and there you go so i'll finish this off and uh, maybe i haven't decided maybe the hibachi grill or maybe we'll see how i'm feeling or i'll just hit up the dessert but in any event i'll take it back and maybe the diet pepsi for contrast yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna go for a little bit more because uh, normally if it was myself, I wouldn't, uh, I'd be going for the desserts, but uh, kind of interested and curious about the hibachi. So let's grab a plate. So this will be a very light round for the grill and some noodles, just a little bit. A little bit of bean sprouts, onions of green, and onions of white, and two jalapenos for a bit of spice. Okay, and the favorites, 
scallops, and some massive shrimp. There you go, man. We'll go for three. All right, and a fatty steak as well. Uh, how about that one there? Nicely well marbled. All right, that is looking pretty good. Let's get this grilled up. Hello. Hi, Luis, how are you? Very good. It's a warm grill. Can I get this grilled up? Thank you so much. How would you like it to stay? Oh, how about medium or medium rare? So even behind the glass, I am working up a sweat and really grateful to Luis for all, all the hard uh, work on the hot grill. A little bit, please. A little bit? Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you, Luis. You're welcome. It's on a day. You too. Really kind folks here. And this is the last round. I don't think I'm going to wait for the lobster. No more room. So I did mention no more lobster, but somehow on the way to the buffet to the table. But I just couldn't resist because the lobster claws are relatively easy to eat and small. So let's give the steak a try and we will put Lewis's grilling skills to the test. Okay, now that is a nice pink, medium, pretty well prepared with a little bit of a blush. I'm very tender. And I forgot to mention, I didn't realize you can grill your steak whole or get them chopped up. But this is a lot easier to eat once it's chopped up with chopsticks. Give it a twirl and maybe even with chopsticks, it's not that easy to eat. Let's give it a try. I think I mixed up my right and left chopsticks, so that's why I'm having a bit of trouble. So grab the shrimp and got a noodle. Mm. Nothing like some noodles made to order. And this time, just the noodles. Mm. It's always nice also to have some steak with the fat cap on there, a lot more flavor. Oh. And very tender. It's gotta go for the lobster with a bit of the sauce. Very hard to pick up. Mm. So I'll finish this off and that is definitely it for the buffet. Lots of good food. But we need to catch the desserts because I forgot to mention there is a time limit. Uh, it is about 100 hours uh, for you to enjoy the buffet. And uh, did I say 100 hours? 100 minutes to enjoy the buffet. But even at 100 minutes, it must be the wine. So even at 100 minutes, uh, it goes by pretty quick because there's no waiting for the lobster. It goes by pretty quick. So in any event, I'll finish this up and I'll take it back. I think we're about 80 minutes into it. All right, so finally we have made it to dessert and a beautiful refrigerated section. This is looking good. So many to choose from and some are bigger than others. And I'll come back to that shortly. Some cookies and cakes and pastries. Oh, this is interesting. We are getting to the traditional Asian desserts. I think those are lychee or logan, some chia seeds. This is a snow fungus soup. A little bit sweet and a very interesting texture and some coconut milk. You can make your own dessert here. And this is interesting. I haven't seen this before. This is a sweet purple sticky rice soup. And we'll give it a try. Right over here. 
And while not exactly it, this reminds me of a Filipino dessert. It is purple as well, called guatang. And this isn't exactly it, but if guatang is done right, it is one of the seven deadly sins of man. So we're gonna make this a little bit better with a bit of coconut milk and some lychee number one, two, three, and four. And moving on. Oh, this is interesting. This is a uh, phyllo type uh, pastry. And what's inside, I have no idea. And down there, the creme brulee, the cookies, and more cookies. And on eye level, more cookies and cakes as well. But it would be nice to have a cold dessert, a cake or a mousse or two. We'll open this up. Chocolate mousse. Those are Oreo cheesecake, a carrot cake, which is a bit too big, tiramisu, but we can go for a smaller tiramisu and its counterpart, a green tea cake and its larger counterpart, a beautiful square of cheesecake. I think caramel, strawberry or chocolate. And to finish off the dinner, something cool. And the line for the ice cream is actually longer than the line for the lobster, or at least the weight. But even that is pretty quick. Oh, that's really cool. So many flavors, including taro and a red orange. Oh, I better decide quickly. Hi. Hey, Julian, how are you? Good, thank you. What oh. do you like? Well, can I try a little bit of the taro and the coconut? Yes, sir. Oh, no, thank you, Julian. All right, thank you. So a very modest and very nice dessert station with a bit of symmetry between the uh, taro and coconut and uh, purple and white. And we are at about the 85 minute mark. So another 15 minutes to enjoy the dessert and maybe another round. But let's give that wonderful coconut and taro ice cream or gelato a try. Mm. So most buffet ice creams are pretty average. This is outstanding. Beautiful flavors, not too sweet and just incredibly smooth. Mm. And I am curious about this guinatang like dessert. I think this is more Asia with uh, some glutinous rice. This is a typical Asian dessert. So it's a bit of an acquired taste, very mild. It's not bad. So there is a bit of a texture to it, not for everyone, but if you grew up with it, you'll love it. And maybe with the soupy porgy dessert, I think this little cigar of crispiness would be a nice contrast. And we can also dip it in the soup or the ice cream. Let's give it a try. Oh. oh, what a dirty trick. I would not have expected they have durian at a buffet in San Diego. And the worst thing is, it is deep fried. So the durian flavor is even more concentrated. I'm just hunting for my spoon. And thank goodness for the ice cream. Mm. Is there anything ice cream can't solve? Not only does it alleviate spicy hot foods, but also that uh, wretched durian taste. And I mean wretched in the nicest possible way. Mm. So that's kind of nice to be able to put that behind us. And I want to try that one biter of a dessert. This uh, very light wobbly sponge of green tea, maybe mango. Mm. Very nice. So this is the 100S Seafood and Grill Buffet. And every Thursday, 
$55 unlimited lobsters and uh, all the great seafood on regular days. Without the lobster, it's about $40, $40 and change. And I'll leave the, the pricing details in the video description. So really fantastic time here. Lots and lots of good buffet items, rows and rows of dishes and fantastic folks here like Jimmy who's been working behind the scenes and Stephanie who's been uh, cleaning up the plates and plates here and if you're in uh, San Diego and uh, after a long day at Legoland which uh, we just came from uh, and it was expensive but uh, this is a fantastic treat because uh, $40 and then kids are basically their age times 2.25 and it's very uh, formulaic there so give it a try if you're in the area and thank you so much for joining me and keeping me company with all the great food so until we see each other again uh, i hope you're keeping well i hope you're eating well and i hope you're traveling well take care of each other and uh, god bless and bye bye for now